Namaste, sir. Good afternoon, Professor Chitamani. I think the audience absolutely love your presentation. It's like, wow, very good slides, interesting slides, a lot of you know, merging we can see together between Ayurveda and modern science. So, how are you feeling, sir? Oh, very good. Yeah, and how do you find the event so far? Simply brilliant. Actually, um, more than what I had expected. Fortunately, I had a little background of what exactly goes on here, mm. but uh, this exposure made it very, very special, truly special. Uh, since morning, actually, it started with a very, uh, you know, blessed, uh, shall I say, the beginning, yeah. where Swamiji talked about, I think, life in general. Mm. So it becomes easier to talk about one part of it. Mm. So that's the part I did. <laughs> uh, in addition to... Uh, his uh, initial address, I think uh, lots of talks are very interesting and important. Mm. I personally think it's time that it's not about integrating, mm. uh, you know, Ayurveda into allopathy or vice versa. It's about getting together. Yeah. Because end of the day, as I was saying probably in my talk, we should keep the center in the patient in the center rather than us in the center. Yeah. Because whenever it is about I, it is illness. Mm. And when it's about we, it's wellness. So Well said. <laughs> so wellness is what we should be looking at. We can learn from each other. Personally, I have used some bit of a herbal part of it in cancer management very effectively in many cases. Mm. And as I mentioned, you have effects and side effects in drugs that you use for cancer treatment and otherwise also in allopathy. Mm. While in Ayurvedic treatment, I think there are side benefits, not mm. side effects. So there are effects and side benefits. So I think there's a, it's a win-win situation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. So what we have done, Pantajali Research Institute has done our scientific works, our scientific efforts to promote um, Ayurveda medicine as well as uh, you know, providing our factual, I mean, providing scientific evidence to it. So what what is your advice as we move on this journey in the near future? perhaps maybe five years, what would you advise Pantajali Research Institute to do more or anything you can advise to us? Thank you. That's a brilliant question. Actually, I was just, uh, I'm, I'm just coming from the lab mm. and I was really fascinated. In fact, flabbergasted. I didn't expect uh, uh, such a well-equipped lab where you're doing almost all possible animal in vivo, in vitro studies mm. uh, on various aspects of diseases that are relevant in Indian context and we are finding Indian answers to the universal problems. That's one part. Well, we are we are past the stage of eminence-based medicine. We are now in the phase of evidence-based medicine. Except God, everybody has to give evidence. <laughs> so when you, whenever you say it, it is effective, it's useful, we need to compare it to, we kind of carry out randomized control studies. Having said that, there are certain things which you know, like, you know, you heard in the morning about randomized control trials, which you're doing a lot and plenty. Mm. But let me tell you, there is a term called parachute trial. Mm. Uh, we don't need a randomized control trial for everything because you like, you can't be testing for parachutes by dropping 50 with parachutes, 50 without, without parachutes. And guess how many would die? <laughs> True. Not 50. It's more than 50 because some would die of fright also. So end of the day, uh, we should, we should be logical, commonsensical in our approach. But more importantly, we should be holistic in our approach. We should be looking at the person as a whole mm. rather than just just that disease. Like I mentioned, it's not, the body is not a machine. Mm. It's a misinterpretation. It's energy which is manifested in a matter form. Mm. So unless you take care of that energy being right, the matter is going to go disarray. Oh, that was very, very good. Very, very good. I mean, your talk was awesome and now the interview is also... It gives a lot of inspiration for Pantajali Research Institute as we move forward in the near future. Thank you so much, Sir Bahu Bahudanyava, for taking time to be thank with you, us. Thank yeah, you. thank you. And like you asked me, if I may add up, Pantajali Institute has a great future. I look forward to being part of it. I look forward to being totally contributing entirely with no self for the good of mankind in general. And as they say, Astoma Sadgamaya Tamsoma Jyotir Gamaya. Bilkul. Pure Ma Amritam Gamaya. So this is how it spreads and this looks like the place from where it should go to the rest of the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.